number five then from the 2007 Higher Maths Paper 2. A little diagram with circles and parabolas in it. A little bit scary. However, don't panic as soon as you see that. Just take it. It's been broken down for you into three parts. Take it one step at a time. Every time you write something down, the next line should suggest itself from there. First part then. What does it say? Gradient of the tangent to the parabola is 4. Find the coordinates. There are all the keywords. Gradient of the tangent, derivative. The derivative, the derived equation, will give you the equation of the gradients. If you know the gradient, you can work it back for x. Then you can put it back into this coordinate equation. Nothing to do with the circle yet, so this first part's easy. So, you'll get the gradient if you differentiate. Differentiate, multiply by the power. Two halves are one. One of the powers just x. The linear term will just go down to 8. That's nice and easy. And if the gradient of the tangent here is 4, I can make a statement. If the m part is 4, that means that x minus 8 should equal 4. In which case, take the 8 across, straight away, x is 12. Well, that was easy. And once you know what x is, you can go back to your coordinate equation, the equation with the x's and y's connected in it, to find the y-coordinate. So, if x is 12, that means y is going to be, just pop it back in, a half of 12 squared minus 8 times 12 plus the 34. Then, well, it is paper 2, so you can just put that into your calculator. Or you could think, wait, 12 squared, that's a 12 times a 12, a half of 12 is 6, that's like 6 take away 8, that's negative 2, that's minus 24, plus 34 is 10. So y is 10, or just put it in your calculator. So that means that q is the point 12, 10. Part B, find the coordinate of P. Now this diagram is symmetrical, so this shouldn't be too bad. Just notice there, there was five marks for doing this. That was very easy for five marks. And there's two for this. Now the coordinates of P. Well, the whole point about P is this diagram is symmetrical. So that the gradient at P would have to be negative four. So I'll put that down. The gradient at P is negative 4. That means the x-coordinate of P, minus 8, equals negative 4. So that the x-coordinate of P is going to be negative 4 plus 8, which is just 4. But it is symmetrical, so it must be at the same height. So P is going to be the point 4, and same again, 10. Maybe I should have underlined that while I was at it, because that was obviously one of the marks. For part C, find the coordinates of C, the centre of the circle. Well, another thing I could have done when I was doing part B would have been to find the turning point. Because the turning point would have given the axis a symmetry and also given me P rather than the other symmetry, because I had the derivative there already. The turning point would have been when the derivative equals 0. So x minus 8 would have equaled 0. So x equals 8 is the axis of symmetry. And then I could have found P from it. And straight away, I would know that at point C, it's going to be at 8. But since I've done it this way, I'll just have to say this instead. P's at 4, Q's at 12, so the centre must be halfway between them. Halfway between 4 and 12, so that's going to be 8. Second part would be, now how high up is it? Well, to do that, I'm going to have to use the fact that I know the gradient here. I'll just have to use that because it's pretty close to a straight line. Is 4. So that means that that gradient, the line joining C and Q, must be negative a quarter. I know that the gradient of CQ is negative a quarter. And that will give me a triangle I can use to work it out. Now negative a quarter actually works out very nicely, because negative a quarter just means, I'll just use a different colour here, negative a quarter means if you go four along, you'll be going one down. And in fact, because the distance between those points was in fact 8, 4 along does take me just under C. So using that gradient directly the way it was, I didn't have to use fractions. 1, 4 would be the ratio of the sides for the gradients, and 1, 4 fits very nicely into this little diagram. So that C is going to be 4 back from Q, but I knew that anyway, but 1 higher. So it's going to be 10 plus 1. 
So C is going to be the point 811.